Hey professionals, here's how to automatically change the color of your captions based on the speaker, whether it's podcasts, gameplay footage, or whatever else. If there's multiple speakers and you have separate audio tracks, you can do this automatically within DaVinci Resolve. Now, if you're doing something with gameplay footage, you can semi-automate this by going into your OBS settings and recording your microphone separately to the gameplay, which most of you should be doing already. So to begin with, throw your footage onto the timeline. Next, we want to generate separate lines of captions for each speaker. All we have to do is mute this one. So this is the gameplay footage. And then we can go timeline, create subtitles from audio. And then I change this to 28 as that's the characters I like. And then if we have a look through this. Absolutely. That's good. Oh, good. <laughs> So here you can see that it's missed it because I'm doing this really maniac laugh that no AI tool has ever heard before. We have to fix this one up manually. Now, we don't want to worry about styles or animations yet. Just make sure the AI transcription is to your liking. Now is a good time to correct any issues, the timing of captions and regrouping words for dramatic effect. Once we've done this, mute your track and unmute the secondary footage with the other speaker. Then we want to lock the captions we just did so Resolve doesn't overwrite them in the next step. Then we can run the subtitle track again. So once we've got these captions to a satisfactory degree, we can start going onto the styling side where we'll start automatically changing the colors. Here's how. Here's a pre-made text plus that I'm going to be using where I've gone through and changed it through the shading tabs here. Once we're happy with this, we can make a duplicate of this caption and then I'm going to change the color to the second person. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to choose the blue from here. And then I'm going to rename this to speaker two. So now the magic begins. Using snap captions, we will automatically populate the timeline with our desired style. First, drag the two text plus templates into a folder specifically called snap captions and rename them to speaker one and two. Now, when we open Snap Captions, our newly created templates are there. Run Snap Captions with these settings, making sure that the right subtitle track is lined up to the correct speaker text plus template. Then run it again, but for the second speaker. All right, shall we call in an airstrike? Absolutely. All right, calling in an orbital. Ah, stand back. It's on the, um, the wide ones. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, if you want to see how I tracked these captions onto the characters themselves, then you should definitely check out this video here where I show you exactly how you can and cannot do that.